we're going to go back into Dublin City, maybe get a pint, and then head off back to the airport. It's just here for the beer. I'm here at Heathrow Terminal 5. Going on a bit of a short adventure today, 12 hours in Dublin. What do you think we would do in Dublin for 12 hours? Folks, the reason we came here to Dublin for a day, for 12 hours, less than 12 hours, was specifically to come and see the Guinness, the Guinness Brewery here in Dublin. Renato owns a pub in, in Vitoria called Liver Pub, and they sell a lot of Guinness. So he's really excited to come and see the, the brewery, and so am I. Renato is happy. We are. So excited. Smells really good here. Three. That was incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have arrived here in the Guinness factory in Dublin. We're here to do a tour of the the brewery. I've never, I've never done it before. I've never really been in Dublin before. Been in Ireland, but never Dublin. Well, again, you're all very welcome. And as I said, my name is Danny, and today we're going to be going through, supposed to be going through four variations. But since it's since it's only a small group, I'm going to go through five with you, if that's all right. Okay. Can handle that? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So when you think of Guinness, that's what you think of Guinness draft. Mm -hmm. Would you realise how? How old the Guinness draft is? Anyone know? It's actually one of the newest Guinness variations. It's only around since 1959. Mm. And it was introduced on the 200th anniversary of Guinness. So, the first thing you'll notice about when, when I start pouring the sample is the distinctive sound. The magic hiss. Now that hiss has been known to bring people in off the street. So what's the first thing you notice when you take it into your hand? It's cold. It's cold, it's cold. yes it is. Red. What kind of red? Is it r ruby? Ruby, ruby, ruby red. Ruby, ruby, ruby. <laughs> we give my tap for that. Yeah. <laughs> ruby red. If you take in the aroma, you get a lot more kind of a roasty flavour. Maybe a bit of fruitiness. Mm -hmm. And you get a small bit of fruitiness. Mm. By our managing directors in 1954, they're actually down shooting in Wexford, which is just down south of the country. 
bor uh, borge shooting. And one uh, just during the day, anyway, a borge uh, flew up from ditch from a hedge, and it flew so fast that none of them could shoot it. So later on that night, they were chatting over drinks. And they were all trying to discuss like which is the which is the fastest bird in the world, and none of them could decide. And Sir Hugh Beaver was his name. He decided to come up with a book that he placed behind every bar, and it was going to be called Against Truth and Facts, and it was all of all these disputes or whatever. So that was 1954, and in 1955 it was actually copyrighted. And it was the fastest selling copyrighted book of all time. She just wanted a lot wider. So as it starts to fill the glass, I anyway, slowly straighten it up. And once you get halfway up the golden heart, just stop the flow like that. And then you leave it settled. What you see a lot of people doing is this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, it's too bitter. Too bitter for me. You're not supposed to drink the head of Guinness. You're supposed to put your lip right through it and take the beer from underneath. So, slaunch it. Slaunch. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's all out there. And <laughs> <laughs> Anato's gonna pour a bite now. Yeah, just outside of Dallas in June. What's it called? It's called Pete. Uh, Rock Wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. My half sister lives there. Oh, really? Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very safe concept over there. Like, See it all the way out. Yeah. yeah so uh, it's just basically the very same as in you'll have your kind of uh, your, your your small batch brews over there. You still get your given draft and everything from here in Ireland. I saw Open Gate and I wrote it down and I didn't know it was part of Guinness until I got here. Did you? I saw yeah. it. Yeah. I notice a lot of times they extra cold beer. Extra cold, yeah. What are, uh, you're not the way you be in the movie. You're back, you're back. Get a stew. Quite a few pints later. Something like that. Not beer, but things like that. Yeah, thanks again, sir. Good stuff. What did you buy? Where? We started the tour with a like a, a connoisseur sample of all the different beers, me and Renato, and we've not even started the tour yet. This is like the beginning of the tour. We tried like four or five different beers. We're already a little bit tipsy, uh, and now we're going to start the tour. And we are allowed to take the beer with us on the tour. We're going to start the tour now, the proper tour with our beer, half cut. We had a piss up in a brewery. That was amazing. The connoisseur experience in the Guinness factory is in the Guinness. Brewery is amazing. You get to try all the different Guinness beers. Uh, yeah, we've had quite a few. Anyway, we haven't actually done the tour yet. We came to the Connoisseur Experience first. We're going to go back to the bottom floor and start the tour. Guinness is always known for its uh, crazy out there advertising at the time. I absolutely love Tukins, the bird. So. Uh, I really love the, the, the Tukin adverts that they used to do. <laughs> We're going to get something to eat here in the bar, in the Guinness bar. In the top of the Guinness brewery they have this uh, restaurant. Great view of Dublin. Vista. We asked for a, a beef stew soaked in Guinness. Everything's Guinness here. Mmm. Shiga, shiga mente yo da hatch. Shiga mente yo da hatch. Guinness stew. Eat the bread. No? I don't like beef stew usually, but. This stew is so good. 360 degree view of Dublin. From the very top of the Guinness Brewery. Let's go and see the view. I'm going to walk all the way around the bar here.
That was it. That was the Guinness Brewery tour over. Five. So much fun. Billions five. Oh. We're gonna go back into Dublin City, maybe get a pint, and then head off back to the airport. Just here for the beer. Literally, just for the beer. St. James Gate Brewery Dublin. Pub, 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 pub. <laughs> pub, 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 pub. Five, six pubs all on the same corner. Take your pick. Yes. Before we go back to the, the airport, we need to have a pint in the temple bar. Just one. We've already had a few. Oh, okay. Kill you <laughs> Temple Bar here in Dublin. We're gonna have a pint before we need to get back to the airport. Right now. Really good experience. Cheers. Time up at the Temple Bar, but we need to get the bus now. Back to the airport. That was such an awesome day out here in Dublin. Really, really fast. But we're back at the airport now and uh, just waiting on a flight to get back to London. Pretty tired now, I have to admit. Really, really tired. Might have a wee nap. One thing that's bizarre is like, we were getting to the airport on the bus and it was like sunshine, really, really nice weather. And all of a sudden this massive rainstorm has come. I don't know where from. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a stormy flight back up. By the looks of things, it's raining, it's raining a lot. It's really miserable.